Hey guys, so、uh, today we're going to learn the last bit of、uh, unit D, so hydraulic, pneumatic, catapult, and trebuchet. So, yeah, let's get started. We kind of learned this before, so、uh, pressure equals to force divided by area, okay? So, first of all, like let's say if we actually talk about a hydraulic system like this, we're talking about pressure here equals to pressure here. So, pressure is the same all over the place in the fluid. Okay, so basically, if you move this piston down, this will go up. If you move this one down, this will go up. Okay, it's a hydraulic system. So, let's talk about that. And first of all, we're gonna talk about pressure. So, a pressure and force the same thing? No, pressure is basically a force experienced by a specific、uh, surface area. So we can say that pressure equals to force divided by area. We talked about it before in unit one. Okay. So the first one is、um, uh, so F is on top of the fraction. So if you translate it to or transform the three variables into a triangle, the top would be force and P and A. Okay. So if you want to solve area here, you basically go force divided by P. So F over P. And if you want to solve for F, the top one, you basically can do these two times together. So which is A times P area times pressure. Okay, so pressure is measured in Pascal. The unit for pressure is Pascal. Okay, and work is a、uh, force. Sorry, is measured in Newton. We know that. N, and then、uh, area is always measured in meter squared. Meter squared, not centimeter squared, because meter squared is the standard unit. Okay, so in this case, let's compare these two here. So we talk about okay. Sorry, let's compare these two first. If I say that I knock on this, I knock on this using the same force, and which area, which contact surface area is actually the smallest? So this is a bigger area. So this is a small area. So we can say that if force is the same, if force is the same, smaller area experience experience larger pressure. Okay. So we talked about a unit one again,、uh, larger pressure. So basically, if you are wearing a high heel, it's basically having more pressure than like a snowshoe. Okay. So yeah, and this one too. If they have the same force, same force, which area is bigger? So this area is bigger. So bigger area, piston area. Okay. So it actually influ、uh, in uh, re、uh, results in less pressure. So that means a little water will be squirted out. So and、uh, if the area is small, smaller a, the pressure is really big. Okay, in this case, so smaller area, so area and pressure they're opposite. So how can pressure be increased then? Can you increase force to increase pressure? Of course, you can increase force. The harder you knock it, the more pressure you are exerting on something. Okay, increase F. Uh, can you、uh, how like how can you manipulate or how can you change area to change pressure then? So if pressure you want pressure to be increased, area should be decreased. Okay, the smaller the area, the better. So area decrease, or both at the same time. Okay. So let's do a question. A bowling pin has a surface area of that. So basically, write a data stack. A equals to zero point zero four meters squared. A nail has the surface of that, so this is the bowling pin, and this is the nail. Okay, nail surface area is zero point zero 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 one meters squared. So which one has the less surface area? This one has the less surface area. Okay, so you predict it to be the same, uh, to be, uh, larger pressure because it has a smaller surface area. So the force is two hundred newton. Calculate the pressure exerted by each. Okay, so let's talk talk about the bowling pin first. Bowling pin first, and here's the nail. Their force are all two hundred newtons. Okay, so pressure equals to force over area in this case as well. Pressure equals to force divided by area, and then you basically do force is two hundred newton. Area for bowling pin is zero point zero four, and this one is two hundred over area, which is zero point zero 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 one. Okay, and you calculate it. Type in your calculator. Calculate it as five thousand. What's the unit for pressure again? Pascal. So P A. Okay, and in this case is two zero 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 Pascal. So which one has a higher pressure? Of course, nail has a higher pressure because it's a way smaller surface area. 
okay? So, in this case, let's talk about this question here. For both sides, pressure is the same. Yes, for a hydraulic system, when the tube is connected here, the pressure is the same all over the place, okay? So, which size has a uh, larger surface area? So, if pressure is the same, pressure is the same not force in this case if pressure is the case and then um if, sorry sorry if pressure is the same which side has more area so if let's say this is side a this is side b which side has more area of course it's side b which side has more force so let's talk about it this way pressure equals to force over area right so let's say that let's say if side a let's say side a is a uh, surface area of one let's say surface area of one and side b has a surface area let's say let's say four okay if it has a four because side b has a larger surface area so if i want their pressure to be the same because their pressure is the same all over the place in the hydraulic system if i want their pressure to be the same what's going to be on top to make their pressure or f over a the same Okay, so let's see. So here I need force on side one to be one. So force on side B therefore should be four to achieve one equals to one for pressure. Okay, so if we want pressure the same, we can say the bigger the area, the bigger the force. Okay, it's the more force side. So let's write it down. So if pressure is the same, then more surface area or more A, you will have more force. The more right area side, the bigger area side will have more force. So, yeah, so basically, if you understand that, that will be the main concept of this class. So hydraulic and pneumatic system, what's their difference? Hydraulic is basically using water or fluid, not water, excuse me, fluid, liquid, liquid fluid, okay? So you can have actually have water or you can have oil. Oil actually has more power over water. Uh, so pneumatic system, you use air, okay? Which one is more powerful? Yeah, uh, hydraulic is more powerful because like water, imagine water weight and air weight. So the density is different, okay? So because liquid is less compressible, so it's stronger, I would say. So the pressure or the force get directly transferred to the other side, okay? It's, com it's less compressible, sorry, than air okay therefore it's more uh, powerful so uh, the following hydraulic system which piston has more pressure okay so you can see this is a hydraulic system here which one has more pressure Ooh, trick question because in hydraulic system p is the same p is the same everywhere okay so same pressure on both sides Which piston has a larger surface area? This is side A, this is side B. So piston B has a larger surface area. Which piston has more force? Okay, which piston has more force? So we talked about it. Larger surface area will have a larger force because we, we set it here, okay? So larger surface area, larger force. So piston B must have larger force so which piston has more distance moved oh okay do you remember that force and distance is opposite okay, i'm just gonna write it down force and distance are kind of the opposite okay so increase force if you want more force you uh if, if you pay more force you can save the distance if you want to save your force if you want to reduce the force you increase your uh, effort distance so which distance is uh more you want to choose the less force side so this is less f this is more f so this is more distance okay so piston a would be that okay so piston of different sizes create mechanical advantage so it's a machine so we have to know how to calculate mechanical advantage for sure okay it's the same thing as the output force over input force so basically the load force and uh, over effort force okay input force 
okay. So uh, also it equals to the equations are all going to give to you, okay? Are going to all going to be given to you. So also it can be say that it's the output surface area because surface area more force equals to more surface area, okay? So equals to the input surface area, or we can say that uh, is the output piston size over the input piston size because the diameter uh, or the radius, okay? Because surface area basically means the size. Okay, what else do I have to tell you? Oh, the distance here. The distance and force is the opposite. So if we say output over input, it must be input distance over output distance. Okay, because distance and force are their opposite. These equations are all going to be given, but all you want to know is uh, how to use it. Okay. So another question here: Do both sides have the same pressure? Yes. Hydraulic system have pressure the same everywhere. Which side has less the area? So this is A. This is B. So it must be A. So which side has more force? Uh, so more area, more force. So more area sides B. So B side has more force. Which side will be moved more distance? More force, less distance. Less force, more distance. So less force side is A. So A is moving more distance. Okay. Uh, these questions here. Uh, yeah, let's talk about it. Uh, so what's the mechanical advantage of this uh, hydraulic jack? Okay, so we know from the previous uh notes previous page here that we have output force over input force which equals to mechanical advantage because the force is given to you so five five hundred newton will be the output force because this is f out okay so this is the load side so load force over uh effort force so it's 500 newton over 20 newton which will give you 25 as your mechanical advantage so if the diameter of the piston is that, so according to our formula here, uh, diameter, in this case, output diameter over input diameter, okay? So if we have output diameter, so MA equals to output diameter over input diameter. So if the input diameter is 2, what's the diameter of the output? Okay, so we basically want to be, want to find out what this is. So do we know MA? Yes, we know that's 25 from the previous question here. Equals to, the input is 0 0.2, so the output is a question mark. So question mark equals to 25 times 0 0.5, which is 50, so it's 5 uh, meters. Okay. If the small piston has a diameter of 1, this question here, okay? If the small piston has a diameter of 1, the large piston has a 4. So it's shown here is 1 and 4. Uh, what is the mechanical advantage? So we're talking about size here, okay? What's the mechanical advantage of the system? If the small piston is the driver, so this is your effort. Okay? So uh, again, referring to our formula here for size, outputs uh, the diameter over input diameter, okay? So it's... Output D over input D. You basically plug in numbers, okay? Output D, this is the output, which is 4 for diameter. Input di diameter, so I'm just going to put diameter, sorry. Input diameter is 1, so basically mechanical advantage equals to 4, okay? So if a 4 kilogram baby is put on top of the small piston, how heavy a rock would it be able to lift? Okay, so... 4 kilogram baby is the input effort force, okay? So can we use kg? We cannot. We have to time 9.8 to actually get um, a number that's in Newton. So let's calculate it. I'm going to pull out my calculator here. So 9.8 times 4 gives you 3. No, sorry. 9.8 times 4. That's Newton. Okay, so that's your imp input effort. So according to our equation here, this one here is what you want to use because you want to calculate the output force. Okay, mechanical advantage equals to output force over input force. So the input force is 93 and 39.2 newton you want to find out what's the output force which is the load which is equal to mechanical advantage do we know mechanical advantage of course we know from the previous 
question is 4. And then in this case, you do question mark equals to 4 times 39.2, okay? Because if you form a triangle, the top is the tri uh, the top of the fraction is the question mark, so it's on top, and the two numbers are at the bottom. Okay, and then you calculate it. Times 4 gives you 156.8 Newton. That's the effort or that's the load force that you are able be able to lift. Okay, so this one here I want you to do by yourself. You can pause here and uh, get back to me once you're done. Okay, so if one pound mouse wants to live with a hundred pound baby elephant, okay, so the uh, effort force is one, and then the effort, the load force is a hundred. So how do you want to design that? So basically, how do you want to design that basically means what's the size of each area piston here, the area of each piston, okay? So if the effort force is 1, if the load force is 100, that means you want to design the system uh, so that the area here, so the area here to the, or let's say this is A, this is B. The A area to B area ratio must be, 1 over 100, 1 to 100, because the larger force, larger area, large, a smaller force, a smaller area, okay? So the ratio between them is 1 over 100. As long as you design it that way, you're good. Okay, so, oh, the hydraulic jack, hydraulic versus pneumatic system, something you have to know. Instead of filling out the notes with you here, I'm just going to, um, bring out this one here because it's easier for it to see instead of me writing everything down which is messy so the pros of hydraulic system is that it's definitely more powerful okay because like air is uh, compressible water is less compressible so it's incompressible so which is more powerful than air okay so the pressure can be directly delivered to the other side the con is cannot achieve really high speed okay so uh, because oil is used if there's leak it's really not environmental friendly Okay, that's the two points. So we can fill out the notes as we go. Pneumatic system, good or bad. The pros is um, it's just, you, it used burst of air, so it's high speed, okay? So it's really easy for cleaning and stuff. So air leak caused no envir environmental effects, so just air, so it does no harm to the environment. Cons is that it's not so powerful, it's, of course. It's, the con of this is the pro of um, the hydraulic system, okay? So um, yeah. It cannot be used underwater, okay? So it, you cannot actually transport something underwater or you cannot use it um, in the ocean, for example, because it will create air leak and water will be seeking in. So the hydraulic or pneumatic system will not work anymore. Okay, so catapult is something that um, just we have to mention about it. It's class two lever because your effort force is here, your load is here, okay? So basically, your this is your fulcrum, this is your effort, and this is the load. Okay, this is a class 2 lever, and you want to achieve high speed because you're paying more effort to actually swing it uh, high speed. Okay, so trebuchet is the same idea. Um, it's basically a catapult, but it has the rope that attached to it. It's increasing the load distance here so you can achieve an even higher speed. Okay, so yeah, that's it about unit D. So there's a, a build your car project. We're going to talk about it um, in the remind message. Okay? Thank you for listening.